Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to my Art Nook. If you'd like, please check out my Etsy page or check out my Instagram. So today we are doing something a little different. You might say, what are you doing? That's a little bit bigger of a canvas than what we are used to seeing. Um, so today I am making a um, canvas that I plan on entering into a contest called Art in the Loop uh, KC Project or something similar to that is Art in the Loop <laughs> project and it's in Kansas City. Um, basically um, a bunch of artists get to submit uh, pieces that will get put on uh, a billboard or like bus stops or on our little like train thing that we have that runs downtown um, and it will be on those for several months and artists will get paid for this um, and they get to do all kinds of cool stuff um, about they get to write about their art they get to go to like an art walk and all kinds of cool stuff it really gets your name out there so I've never done anything like this um, you only get to uh, submit one piece um, to a category like you can't do both an application to like the train and the billboard you only get to do one so I've chosen to apply for the billboard so uh, and the reason I've decided to apply for the billboard is because that's kind of more my shape that I work in <laughs> I don't typically work in uh, little train sizes <laughs> or that shape so I figured this would be the easiest size to go for or shape to go for um, so this is the as far as ratio size um, of canvas to the ratio size of the billboard um, it's very big um, I will add a little screenshot of their website and I will add a link to their website so if any of you are in the Kansas City area and you are interested in doing this you can certainly go out there submit your art try and get in to do this because it is very cool um, I'm very excited and a little nervous because like I said never done anything like this the closest I've ever gotten to like a new award for my art is from high school like uh, I submitted it for like colleges and they got awards at colleges while I was in high school and I got paid for it and that was pretty cool but never anything like this so this is a new adventure <laughs> so wish me good luck um, so I decided to make a video of me making the piece and this is just part one of the two parts It is going to be a very long um, it took me about an hour 45 to make the whole piece um, the topic of the project is resilience so they wanted you to try to portray resilience and I wanted to try and explain to you guys why I think this piece or at least to me how this piece um, portrays resilience um, and you'll really like see what I'm talking about when you see the second part of the video um, but first I want to kind of give you guys a little bit of background about me as I've never really shared that with you guys um, so as those who do actually know me personally you know um, that when I was 17 or 18 um, I found out I had epilepsy which sucks because <laughs> that has really made it to where like I can't stay out late and party and drink um, like a lot of 18 year olds want to do um, which I'm no longer 18 clearly <laughs> I'm a grown woman now um, but at the time I couldn't really do that contrary to my several several attempts to defy nature and what it was saying to me um, but I basically I had to have eight hours of sleep is what it came down to and it really it cramped my social life it made it hard because basically um, people that I got close to they got scared and freaked out I had boyfriends break up with me I had friends that I knew since kindergarten just up and leave me and never talk to me ever again because it was just too emotionally overwhelming for them so I kind of got into a stupor where I was not really a great person I was kind of 
human garbage. I was, I was just a bad person for a while. Um, and then um, I was drinking a lot and partying a lot. And um, then I met my husband, who I'm married to now. Um, and he just, you know, he's really made me a much better person. I'm, I'm kind of kind of skipping over a couple of years here and there just to kind of shorten things. Um, but he's really made me a much, much better person than I was. And um, just a few years ago, I got really, really sick and we had no idea why. Um, I was vomiting all the time and I couldn't eat, I couldn't like do anything. I was dizzy, I couldn't even um, bathe myself, I couldn't do anything. And he was just my boyfriend at the time and I was like, oh, this is, this is too much to ask. But he was there by my side the whole time. Him and my mom helped take care of me all day and they found out I had lupus and it was so hard because my hair was falling out and because I was like malnourished my body was under stress I was having seizures it was just so difficult and during the time when I found out I had epilepsy I had lost my passion for art and um, when I found out I had lupus I really like during the recovery process my mom helped me find that passion again for my love for art and I really like started to just turn back around and like find out what I wanted from life and I feel like things have just gotten much better and after having to go through like finding out you have lupus and epilepsy and all of that from like being 18 and then being 30 and like just one thing after another it's just like if I can handle it, that I can handle anything I, it's it was rough and it's like I know there are people that have gone through way worse but it was it was horrible it was horrible I could, could barely I, I remember one morning I woke up and I was just my only thing I had to do that day was get myself dressed and my mom was gonna walk me to the car I found myself in the kitchen laying naked crying because it was that hard just to get myself dressed. I know there are people that have things so much worse, but after that I have found how resilient the human spirit is and how resilient people are and how strong I am and that how good and how terrible life can be and how thankful I am for the people I have in my life. And that's what this piece says to me. The bright side and the dark side of what the world and what life has to offer you. And that if you just push through, things will and can be so much better. So that's what this piece says to me. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you see that that's what I'm trying to say. Um, it might, it, even if it doesn't win, I'm perfectly okay with that because I'm just happy I made it. I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying watching my videos. I know I'm enjoying making them. Um, I'm, my goal is to have this as my career one day where I don't have to have another job <laughs> and I get to just sit at home and do this. And you know, if, if I start feeling sick again, I know that I can just, you know, take it easy, relax, and then just breathe. And then I can come back and work on my art when I'm start feeling better. And I don't have to worry about, you know, applying for FMLA, going through all this paperwork. Did it get approved? You know, I, I have you guys to help me get through. I, I, I want to help fully build a community here is what I want. So that's really what my goal is. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this is com this piece comforts you is what I want. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you see that. Um, and if you don't, that's okay. That's fine. Um, if you have some angry comment you want to make, that's fine too. Uh, that's all right. I don't. That's that's okay with me. 
Um, I do want to tell you a little bit about the piece, though, about what I'm putting into it, other than my emotions and my feelings and a little in anything about me. <laughs> I want to tell you a little bit about what's going into it. Um, so the background of the canvas uh, of the collage is going to be um, book pages from a vintage book, um, music pages from a uh, music book I got from Scraps KC. Um, the bottom right hand side is a napkin that my mother gave me. Um, the top left hand side is a piece of collage paper from Tim Holtz. Um, the top right hand side is a small piece of washi tape of roses. And then the um, bottom left hand side will have more washi tape. Um, that Tim Holtz collage paper, um, I got that at uh, Joann's in an art haul video, which I will add a link to that so you guys can see um, that there's more versions of that collage paper. Um, I love it. It's very sturdy. It's very, it's not necessarily thick, but is very durable. So you can be a little bit more um, rough with it when applying it than you could with like normal tissue paper. Um, in this uh, part one, I'm only going to be doing the collaging. Um, I won't be adding the color. The second part of this will be me adding the color to the painting. Um, so I hope you guys um, will stick around to see part two because um, that's when the whole piece really comes to life and you'll see what I'm talking about where there's like a bright side of life but there's also the dark side and, and you can really overcome that and um, if you just stick to it and you know like our resilience and you decide to thrive you know I, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this um, and I hope you liked me sharing <laughs> and um, to be continued and uh, please hit that like bell comment subscribe and I'll see you later